This is the famous elephant ear that we don't want on our wetland edges. When it's mature, it can be right around, say, two and a half to three and a half feet tall. And that leaf will be about this big, which is about a foot long, maybe about eight inches across. So this is just an immature one right here. And they uh, sometimes need a little help. So sometimes it's nice if you have a little probe digger, you have to get the whole thing because they too snap off, but they do come up. And if you do get the whole thing, you will then be able to get rid of it. That has sort of like a white tubery stem and it is uh, very good at coming back and resisting roundup. This guy, this arrowhead, it kind of looks like it, but it's not the same. Let's see if you can really pinpoint the difference. See how this arrowhead has sort of like fans that are coming outward. This one, these lobes cross. And that one has stems that sort of crawl across the ground, which this one does not do. Mm -hmm. This one goes straight into the ground. So this elephant ear, Calacasia elephant ear, um, escaped. We liked the way it looked. And there's whole areas where there's nothing but this, and it stops other species from coming in. And it doesn't, isn't very nutritious for anything in wildlife, so the only thing it, it might be good for is frog eggs can crawl up on the, or you know, frogs can lay eggs up along this, this stem and keep them out of the water while they're being born. So, uh, not a good one.